I'm gonna run through a few examples of how to overlay in Photoshop. The photo itself looks great, but let's add a little more magic to it. I wanna add some stars from an astro photo that I took previously. And for the bottom half, I wanna add some city lights from a city photo that I took in Tokyo. Lower the opacity so you can see through the image. So you control or command T and a transform box will pop up. Move your second image to a position that you like. Drag the corners to resize. There are a lot of blending mode options. The one you choose will depend on the photo and the effect you're trying to achieve. It's important to choose the correct image with the matching perspective and similar lighting. This photo of Tokyo City was taken from a high vantage point, which is similar to where it would be if you were looking outside a plane window. For this city overlay, I'm gonna go with the light and blending mode. While you're masking away the parts of the image which you don't want, the further into the horizon that the city gets, the lights of the city should be dimmer. We've overlaid two images, one of the stars and one of the city, all right, so here are the final results. The original plane photo with the stars overlaid in. Of course, it doesn't stop there with overlaying and combining multiple images in Photoshop. There are plenty of other creative ways you can use this feature. You can create composite images by taking elements from one photo and replacing it with another. You can create collages in Photoshop with all your favorite memories. You can even add abstract textures to your image to give it grit and a more moody, nostalgic feel.